Flumazenil is one of the medication which is classified as benzodiazepine receptor antagonist. Even though it has structural similarity with benzodiazepines, flumazenil is not acting like agonist. Structurally, it is a imidazole benzodiazepine and it acts as an antagonist on benzodiazepine receptors. Therefore, flumazenil can reverse the actions of benzodiazepines and it can be used as an antidote for benzodiazepine overdose. Benzodiazepines can be used for many conditions and few of the benzodiazepines are used as anesthetics by intravenous rule. For example, drugs like midazolam, digipalm, lorazepam, all these benzodiazepines are used as IV anesthetics. However, they can induce a sedation in the people after the anesthesia. So post-operative or post-anesthetic sedation can be produced by benzodiazepines. In order to limit the sedation and increase the alertness in the people, flumazenil can be given, which acts as an antagonist to the benzodiazepines. Thereby, it can reduce the sedative effect produced by these benzodiazepines given as IV anesthetics. Similarly, benzodiazepines can also be used for other conditions like anxiolytics, sedatives, and hypnotics. They can be used to control the anxiety and even induce sedation, induction of sleep in the people. However, when they are given at overdose, they can produce very fatal conditions like severe sedation, confusion, amnesia, loss of memory, and even at higher doses, they can also produce respiratory depression. The overdose of benzodiazepine should be immediately treated for which flumazenil can be used as an antidote. However, flumazenil cannot control all the symptoms of benzodiazepine toxicity. It is particularly reducing the sedative effect produced by benzodiazepines. Thereby, it can increase the alertness in the people. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about flumazenil, which is given by intravenous rule. In this video, we will discuss how it works, what is its doses, what are the important side effects and precautions of this medication. All these things we will discuss in this video. First of all, let us see how it works. In the brain, GABA A receptors are expressed, which are inotropic receptors. They are coupled with ion channels with different subunits like alpha, beta, and gamma. Normally, benzodiazepines can bind to these GABA A receptors at an allosteric site, the site other than the binding site of GABA. When these benzodiazepines bind to these GABA A receptors, they can stimulate the action of GABA. Therefore, GABA can bind to GABA A receptors. This opens inward going chloride channels, so chloride can enter, leading to hyperpolarization. In this way, benzodiazepines can increase the action of GABA, resulting in an inhibitory action. This inhibitory response can produce sedation, reduce the anxiety, as well as induce the sleep in the people. However, at overdose, they can produce significant sedation, which can be reversed by flumazenil. Flumazenil can act as an antagonist at benzodiazepine receptors. It can bind to the site where benzodiazepines bind. Thereby, it can prevent the binding of benzodiazepines to the GABA A receptors. This results in the reduced action of benzodiazepines, leading to relief of sedative effects. This improves alertness and wakefulness in the people. In this way, flumazenil can be given to reverse the sedative effect produced by benzodiazepines. Particularly, flumazenil can be given post-operatively to reduce the sedative effects produced by benzodiazepine anesthetics. Now let us the side effects of this medication. One of the important side effects of flumazenil is the dizziness. It can also increase the sweating in the people and other side effects like headache and blurred vision can also be observed. Since it is given by IV root, pain at site of injection can also be observed with this medication. And it can also produce nausea and vomiting which is commonly observed in many people. Few other side effects like dry mouth, agitation and difficulty breathing can also be observed. Many of these side effects are related directly with flumazenil. However, few other side effects can also be observed which are related to benzodiazepine withdrawal effects. Now, let us the precautions of this medication. Benzodiazepines can produce CNS depression and they can be used for many clinical indications. So, they are also indicated as anticonvulsants. However, when these benzodiazepines are used as anesthetics, they can also reduce the seizure tendency. In such people, if flumazenil is given, which acts as an antagonist, it can reverse the effect of benzodiazepines, resulting in the increased seizure tendency. Therefore, caution should be taken with use of flumazenil, which may increase the seizure risk in people with any risk factors. 
Even the risk of seizures can also be observed at a small dose such as 0.2 mg. A few of risk factors can increase the incidence of seizures in the people. The risk of seizures increases with recent use of parenteral benzodiazepines. Since benzodiazepines given by parenteral route may have more effect on the body, when they are suddenly reversed, they can increase the seizure tendency. So in such people, flumazenil should be carefully used. Similarly, in those people who are on sedative or hypnotic withdrawal, the risk of seizure tendency is more pronounced. Similarly, in people with any previous history of myoclonic seizures, use of flumazenil can increase the risk. Few of the cyclic antidepressants can also increase the risk of seizures. For instance, drugs like imitriptyline, nortriptyline, imipramine, doxepin, all these are tricyclic antidepressants. Similarly, if you have the tetracyclic antidepressants like metagepine, all these medications should be carefully used with flumazenil. The toxicity of these medications may increase the risk of seizures in the people. That's why the symptoms of cyclic antidepressant toxicity should be carefully monitored while using flumazenil. So any symptoms like muscle twitching, tremors, cardiac arrhythmias, dilated pupils, dry mouth and reduced peristalsis may indicate the toxicity of cyclic antidepressants. In presence of these symptoms, flumazenil can increase the risk of seizures. That's why in such people, it should not be used. In case of development of seizures with use of flumazenil, immediately benzodiazepine should be given in order to restore the seizures. For example, benzodiazepines like dizepam can be given to reduce the seizures in the people. However, benzodiazepine should be used at higher doses than normal doses due to the presence of flumazenil. Barbiturates can also be used to control the seizures in such people. Just we have seen that flumazenil is used to control the sedation produced by benzodiazepines. The low dose of benzodiazepines can produce a sedation which can be reversed by flumazenil. However, when these benzodiazepines are used at larger doses, otherwise by repeated uses, the sedative effect is more pronounced and long lasting. In such cases, Resedation can be observed even after use with flumazenil. Since flumazenil is having a half-life of around 50 minutes, it is having a short duration of action. So resedation may be observed in few people who are taking larger dose of benzodiazepines. In such people, flumazenil can be readmissed after 20 minutes gap. Another important precaution is that flumazenil can reduce the symptoms of benzodiazepine overdoses but it cannot reverse all the symptoms. For instance, the respiratory depression produced by benzodiazepine overdoses cannot be restored by flumazenil. So with use of flumazenil, hypoventilation may be observed because of benzodiazepine overdoses. So in case of any respiratory depression and hypoventilation, other techniques should be used to increase the respiratory function. Similarly, flumazenil should be carefully used in people with recent head injury. In such people, use of flumazenil can increase the risk of convulsions. Even in the case of chronic alcoholism, flumazenil should be carefully used because in such people, the tolerance and dependence towards benzodiazepines may be enhanced. Use of flumazenil in such people may increase the withdrawal symptoms and may complicate the conditions. Now, it is the contraindications of this medication. Already we have discussed that use of flumazenil should be avoided in the people with serious symptoms of cyclic antidepressant overdose. So in those people who are having excessive tremors, muscle twitching, cardiac arrhythmias, dry mouth and dilated pupils, flumazenil should not be used. Flumazenil is also contraindicated in chronic benzodiazepine users. Because in such people, the tolerance and dependence may be developed, use of flumazenil may increase the withdrawal symptoms. It is also contraindicated in such situations where benzodiazepines are used to control life-threatening situations. For instance, when benzodiazepines are used to control status epilepticus, uninterrupted convulsions, otherwise it is used to control intracranial pressure. In such conditions, flumazenil should not be used as an antagonist to benzodiazepines because in such situations, the risk of seizures is severely pronounced. Now it is the doses of this medication. Flumazenil is given by intravenous route. It should be given by slow infusion at a duration of 15 to 30 seconds. And the dose of this flumazenil is individualized based on the patient conditions. 
Typically, it can be given at an infusion rate of 0.2 mg per minute and the infusion can be given around 15 to 30 seconds. After one minute of interval, repeated dose can be given if no response is observed, but the maximum dose is up to 1 mg for controlling sedation produced by benzodiazepines. Similarly, for treating the benzodiazepine overdose, again it can be given at 0.2 mg per minute infusion rate and the maximum accumulated dose should be less than 3 mg per hour. Flumazenil should be given only at slow infusion and it should not be used for more than 4 consecutive doses to obtain sufficient response. In people with any resedation, flumazenil can be readministered after 20 minutes. However, it is completely individualized based on the patient conditions. So that's all about this medication flumazenil which is a benzodiazepine receptor antagonist with no significant activity as agonist. Even though it is related to benzodiazepines, it is having no significant activity as agonist and it is mainly used to reverse sedative effect produced by benzodiazepine anesthetics and it is also used to control symptoms of benzodiazepine overdose. However, it cannot completely restore all the symptoms of benzodiazepine overdose, particularly it can restore the sedation produced by benzodiazepines. Dizziness is one of the important side effects produced by this medication, but this drug may increase the risk of seizures in people with any existing risk factors. So that's all about this medication, flumazenil. So that's for today. I hope this video is useful to you. If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.